title's even hard to read with the straight face. Hey, Raku, a language for gremlins. Okay, so I've never done Raku. I don't know what it is. I assume we're talking about some functional programming here. Okay, something like that. And hence the reason why it's for gremlins, right? Uh, I just added a big new section to learn tla. Optimizing TLA model checking. I take a spec and then show 15 different optimizations, many of them getting 10x runtime improvement. Patreon notes here. Besides that, I have done very little writing the last couple weeks. I'm just in a slump. I sit down to write and the words all come out wrong. I get that. That's why that's why God invented Chad Jippity. It happens sometimes and there's nothing to do about it. But wait it out. That's reasonable. Does this ever happen to you guys? It doesn't happen to me. You know why? Because I don't write anything. It's like a trick of the trade. If you just, if you do microblogging called Twitter, you don't even have to worry about the fact that you have to write things that are intelligible or good or anything. All you have to do is you just have to go here and you just have to simply take a tweet from TJ and, and properly put a good meme to it and boom. That's all you have to do. I barely even read. I barely even read. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a trick. It's a trick of the trade. Uh, so instead of working, I've been learning Raku. It originally got me, uh, got on my radar after I ranted about dynamic languages and a couple of users told me I'd like Raku. I assume I'm saying it correctly. Now, I finally checked it out last week to see if I'd, if it'd make a good calculator language. I use a, a hodgepodge of Python, J, Frank, and Excel to do math and they all have to do their own big draw, or they all have their own big drawbacks. So it'd be nice if Raku could round them out. Okay. That's weird that Python has a big drawback for math. I mean, for the most part, you just throw that crap in pandas and call it a day. After several days of experiments, uh, I am at a loss of how to describe Raku. <laughs> I've never heard a language described like this. Whatever it is, I don't know how to describe it. But what it is, just hold on. The best I can come up with is that the language was designed by a bunch of really intelligent gremlins. Gremlins who spend a lot of time gathering feedback from other gremlins. <laughs> Raku has no qualms about using Unicode operators. You can check, uh, you can check set membership with... I do people that do this stuff, they are literally the devil. There's also not in the set. I forget what that one means and that one. It's also fine with alphanumeric infix operators. A string repetition op is X. Function composition is zero. I don't know what this means. I don't even know what the honestly, I don't even know what that means. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, my, I'm not even sure my F point, pointer to an F uh, is a pointer to a squirt. O pointer to an abs. Is this a function syntax? Noise. F minus three. Okay, so the squirt, the square, the squirt of the, oh, okay, okay. So it squirts it absolute values, then it squirts it. Okay, 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 okay. That's like O camel and the at ad operator. Okay, I can't be like too upset about that. X gives you uh, the cross product of the list and X of F applies F to each element of the cross product. Z of F does the same thing with zip. Oh, dear goodness gracious. Weird. Okay. Okay. You know, there's probably a certain set of uh, of advent of code problems that just work really well for this kind of crap. There, you know, like because every now and then you run into this product. Have you have you ever ran into a problem like this, right? In real life, I did once, and there's like this small subset of problems that you just wish you had this, right? Like the 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 lock combination problem, right? It's just like sometimes you just wish you had something that you could iterate over the lock combination. <laughs> Uh, if F is an infix operator, then F of F reduces a list and slash F accumulates it. That's kind of cool that you could pass an operator into... Okay, I mean, it is kind of cool that you can pass an operator just into a list. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, the double tilde uh, is the anything goes matcher. Do the strings match? True. Uh, is ABC a string? True. Oh, gosh. This is actually... This is actually worse... <laughs> This is actually worse than JavaScript to quality checking. Oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. Uh, chars equals three is the length tr true. Uh, does ABC start with a B? False. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, finally, there's this. Okay, I love this. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh my goodness, how did it do that? How does it understand patterns? How do you even program that? How do you
do you I don't I'm not even sure if I know how to make that. <laughs> I feel like that is it's Jippity Five, dude. That is just straight I know because anytime you give Chat Jippity a series of numbers, it's like I shouldn't play the stock market. <laughs> this looks like a series of stock market values. I can't tell you the next value. <laughs> This is guessing. Dude, it doesn't matter if it's guessing. It looks pretty badass, okay? Defining operators. So you know how some languages let you define infix operators. Raku lets you define a new circumfix and a post circumfix operators. What the hell? Circumfix, A, Z, Z, inner. What the hell is happening right here? <laughs> no! Post circumfix, bam, and bam. You can hit him with one of those. Dude, this is this language is crazy. What I'm seeing here is just nuts. I can't like okay, I I, I understand this. I'm taking like a list. This must be a reference past and left. I don't know what Z star is, so my guess is that Z star must be multiply. So it should be four, ten, eighteen. Four plus ten plus eighteen is thirty-two, right? Yeah, it's thirty-two. And so that means we're gonna take those things, we're gonna just dunk inside of this BS. Is that what the hell it's doing? What the fuck is this thing doing? I would hate to read this language. In addition to left and right associative infix operators, you can define operators to be chain associative, like how x is less than y is less than z, is x is less than y, and y is less than z. The list associative of a op b op c is a op b da, 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 da. Multiple dispatch. So Raku allows multiple dispatch, meaning that you overload a function with multiple different type signatures, and it will choose the appropriate one. Oh, gosh, no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, so at must be like a list. Dollar sign must be like a variable. Right? So, okay, so you can just do, mo okay, okay. At, oh, at is for iterable types. Okay, so I was, okay, cool. So this thing is an iterable type. This thing must be a scalar value, right? This isn't weird. <laughs> this isn't weird. <laughs> yes, it is. Lots of languages have multiple dispatch. What is weird is that you can dispatch based on runtime predicate of the value. Yes, that is weird. Okay, so I'll get I'll give you that. This is a runtime. This is weird. Okay, so runtime multiple or uh, uh yeah like this. Dang, dang, dang. That's crazy. Also, the signature of the function is a first class value as the parameters uh in the signature. Let's see. Int. Oh, you can, okay, so you can put types on it. That's cool. That's cool. Where int is, oh my goodness, you can put, okay, so this kind of like, this kind of like Elixir, right? Elixir allows for something similar, right? Uh, miscellaneous things. If you define a main function, any parameters you give it will automatically be turned into CLI flags. Objects have way more preloaded methods than I've seen in any other language. I, and I used to do Rails. The list object has methods for getting all permutations, all K combinations, and sliding windows. Okay, sliding windows, that's, Rust has that. Junctions are the weird type value thing for doing multiple comparisons at once. One or two expands to any one, two, so that one is less than one or two, and one and two expands to all one where one one is not less than one or two, or one and two. What the hell? Oh, yeah, and you can negate any infix operator by prefixing this. This is like a bunch of gremlins gave a bunch of language use cases to other gremlins, and then gre gremlin gremlins made gremlin language. Raku is the only language I've ever seen with a kebab case variable names in infix subtraction. I'm guessing because uh, sigils disambiguate. Oh. Yeah. How do you do kebab case and that form of subtraction? How does that work? I don't even know what sigils are. How does that work? The regex syntax isn't backwards compatible with Perl 5. For 30 years, languages have followed the PCRE standard, and Perl 6 just threw it all away. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's just a tiny slice of the weird Raku feature. Since I've only been looking at a calculator application so far, I haven't even learned about the object system packages or grammars. And even so, I still left out a ton of stuff. Like in the function body, same with with call, will call the same function with new arguments. I think if I had to maintain a Raku legacy code base, my brain would explode. <laughs> 
I have no idea how people would manage to write this language in the large. Uh, at the same time, it seems incredible, uh, incredible for programming in the small. One-off uh, script computationals, personal tooling, all kinds of things I wanted to do so much in the first place. I've also seen some really frustrating things. The documentation is really poor and the heavy reliance on symbols that makes it hard to search for things. I've learned a lot of poorly documented languages, but Raku is much bigger and more complex than any of them, and it can be real demotivating. The REPL crashes on Windows if I type in any Unicode. <laughs> <laughs> classic classic windows l the compiler is also pretty slow even with small files taking a half second or more iterating on things is painful i hate the sigil thing i spent a half an hour debugging a problem because i wrote uh dollar x instead of dollar or instead of at x oh yeah yeah overall maybe i'm just a gremlin at heart but i think i like this language <laughs> you are a gremlin and I want it to succeed. I assume I'll have a more balanced picture uh, thoughts after I use it in anger. I just hope that over time, I, uh, the compile times and documentation improve. What are you thinking? What are you? How is how is this the how is this the conclusion? You know, I think there comes a point where learning languages is fun, right? And 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 seeing new paradigms is a lot of fun. And I could see this as kind of like a, you know, this is kind of like mental masturbation, right? You look at this, there's a lot of things that are kind of fun about this, especially like this kind of stuff. You could come up with some super cool operators to do super cool things to be able to really enjoy super cool ways to do dumbass shit. But the reality is, is that, is this worth it at all? Is it really worth it at all? I don't think I want to play with this language, but I love the idea of just learning things just to try out new ways to exercise my brain. You know what I mean? Maybe it has high AI resistance. <laughs> You know, like sometimes, you know, sometimes going to the mental gym is a good thing to do. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's good to just, it's just good to go do a couple pull-ups at the mental gym. And that's for me, uh, I mean, that's why I go, that's why I program in Rust. Not because Rust is actually useful for building applications, but because it's like, I, since I gave up the old, the old form uh, version of masturbation, I can now only ma mentally masturbate. And... You know, and sometimes I just got to go out there and just get after it. You know what I mean? You just got to get after it, you know? And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to write applications in Rust, which, by the way, I am actually legitimately writing applications in Rust at this point in Netflix. And, uh, by the way, I work at Netflix, by the way. No, I don't get a free subscription. No, I do pay for my own Netflix. Um, But there is literal bathroom ramen. By the way, if you didn't know that, there's an actual bathroom ramen at Netflix. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Self-satisfaction. Uh, brain, uh, brain goes uh, to beast kill. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right, hey. <laughs> the name is Raku is a language for gremlins. <laughs> <laughs>